Okay, so in our last video, we figured out how to make a simple map with the tiled map editor. We've got two platforms here, and we've kind of saved it here, got the XML, and we want to kind of, we want to use this code, get information from it, and put our platforms into the game. So let's do that now. First of all, uh, we need to uncomment something from here. So tiled map editor by default um, isn't supported by Flexel. It's supported in the Flexel add-ons, add which we've installed here inside with Lix. So we've got that. We just need to uncomment it from here to enable it. So inside the projects.xml file, which is in the root, we're going to find this line, which is on line 39 for me, and uncomment it out. So we can use Flexel add-ons. So save that, and let's make a new file. Uh, let's call it level state. Level state.hacks and what this is going to do is it's going to of course contain all the code for making a level uh, for some reason it wasn't letting me type that was quite annoying class level state um, that is not how you make a class and this will extend um, fix your state there we go. It's quite annoying when Intel Sense doesn't work, so I, I need it to code. If it doesn't work, I can't code. All right, so we've got this boilerplate in place, and what we're going to do is in the play state, um, instead of extending from FLX state, we're going to extend from level state. And we can get rid of this. Um, a quick trick if you're using VS Code to save multiple files at once, you can hit on Mac Shift Command S. Nope, wrong, wrong thing. Um, Options command S and it will save multiple files at once. So this is kind of helpful if if the game is building over and over again. We don't want to save files individually. Okay. So now we've done that, let's see what, what's happened in the game. And hopefully nothing should have changed because we've just linked basically you've kind of daisy chained um, play state to level mm -hmm. state to FLX state. Sorry, my phone's going a bit crazy. But anyway, so now what we're gonna do is put some level code in here which this will have access to by default. So first, let's make three variables. Um, actually, let's make a method called uh, function um, create level here. And this is going to, of course, create our level stuff. We'll have some, we'll have three, three final variables, mm -hmm. one called map, um, and that will be a new tiled map. As you can see, this is coming from Flixel add-ons. Um, and what we're going to do inside here is we're going to reference our map, so call it data level one dot tmx. Okay. So what this is going to do is get all our the information from the XML, pretty much, and make it available to us in Flixel. So the next one is we're going to get to the platforms layer. So we're going to get access to this layer that we created. We will call it platforms layer and this will be a tiled object layer uh, down to spell object layer I love this this is so cool um, okay so the reason let me write the code and then explain it afterwards so we cast um, map get layer here we go and we'll get the name of our layer which is called platforms as a string okay so the reason for this line to look like this is because by default if you were to grab this line on its own and assign it to this, um, it would be just a tiled layer, not a tiled object layer, which is which is fine. Um, but we need it to be an object layer because you want to loop over the objects. And by default, tiled, tiled layers don't give you that option. So we're going to get this tiled layer and cast it to a tiled object layer. Let's create a new variable for keeping the platforms um, together in a group. And what this will be is, this is something we haven't done before. It will be a new Flixel type group. So I'll try and explain what that is after I write it. And it'll be a type sprite. There we go. So what this is gonna do is, um, so we're gonna loop over each object in our map layer and turn it into a new sprite, so a new Flexel sprite. And then this here will contain all of our Flexel sprites um, in one group. 
and this will be useful for collisions or, or any other thing we want to do with it. Cool, so let's go ahead and make that loop happen. Wait, for loop, put the boilerplate in, and we're going to say platform um, in plat, platforms layer dot objects. Okay, so how did I figure this out? Let me tell you. Let's first create a trace of um, platforms layer. I just want to show you the difference between trace and console log. So JS console log. Okay. JS CLG. Cool. Hit save there. This should build the game. Hopefully, no errors. Uh, we have an error. I forgot to instantiate this uh, class. So let's do that now. Um, okay, so that's finished building. Go to our browser and let's open up the inspector tools. Place it behind the game. Sorry, underneath. Um, and I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see what's going on here. Hard refresh. Huh. And nothing happened. That is because we forgot to add create level into the play state. So let's place that here above the player. I'll explain why now. Um, because Flix works in layers. So the higher the layer, the bottom, the most bottom it will be. So if it's up here, it's going to be underneath the player. And if the, if if it was down here, like here, it would be in front of the in front of the player, which is not what I want. Okay, so that's saved. It's going to build. Once that's finished building, cool. Um, now let's do that. Okay, so as you can see here, all this is the trace. Um, there's not much you can do here, it's just a, a huge slab of data, which is, is fine. But I prefer using the JS console log because you can see here that you can manipulate stuff. It's got syntax highlighting, and this is where I figured out the objects. So these are the two platforms I placed inside the, the tiled map layer, so one, two. Um, you can see that, oh, go back to the browser, see that here? So this is the, the layer called platforms. Um, and what we're going to do is loop over each of the objects um, here and call it platform. So we'll make a new variable here and call it platform sprites. That might be new, flex sprites. Um, and we're going to get a platform x position platform y position to make the sprite and then with this we are going to um, we are going to load the graphic so we're going to load graphic um, assets images platform png and that's not going to animate so it'll be false and it's going to have a width of 400 and a height of 32 and we're going to add this to this group here so platform group, uh, add, uh, platform sprite, cool. And then we're going to add platform group to the whole game. Uh, here we go. Add. There we have it. So now let's get rid of these console logs and traces. Save, fingers crossed, no errors. Perfect. And now once that's done, when I hard refresh the game, I should see the platforms I placed, and I've made a mistake here. Uh, images, as is images. Pla uh, okay, you probably saw that screaming at the screen because I forgot to add a dot. Let's try that again. Cool, hard refresh, and there are our platforms inside the game. All right, thank you for watching, and in the next video, I'm going to add some collision and figure out why this is just um, put a breakpoint here. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.